I am a lifer. Every second, every minute. Do it for the love. The destination is only the lighthouse to help you find your way. Results are in the journey. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. This is our call to action, a call to live our lives in a beautiful state and constantly improve. It's time to wake up. No more excuses. We are responsible for how we feel and what we do. Nobody can make us feel anything. If we have a bad day, we allowed it to be that way. And if we have a great day, we deserve the credit. We are in charge of our lives. We are a brand new breed of overachievers. We are lifers. Welcome to the journey every minute. Hi, my name is Michael Johnson. I'm a ballroom dance professional, a life coach, and a peak performance expert. I'm part of a group of motivated people who are dedicated to attaining emotional mastery and unlocking our full potential. We don't believe others are responsible for how we feel. In fact, we don't believe anyone can make us feel anything. We believe in the magic of ballroom dance. It has taught us how to improve our bodies, challenge our minds, and inspire our souls. And in return, I want to share those lessons with the world. We are lifers, and this is Magic for Life. What's up, lifers? Michael Johnson here with the Magic for Life podcast. And so often you hear me say lifers, and I'm talking to you guys and calling you lifers. And and I figure that because you're here and you're listening to this podcast, that you probably take on a lot of the uh, attributes of a lifer. And so I thought today it'd be a great uh, thing to go in and talk about our lifer's creed. And so I decided to pull up a quick uh, definition. There's a lot of, a few def- different definitions of a creed. Uh, the one I, I uh, wanted to read today, today was, a creed is a definition as any pr- system of principles or belief a statement of belief or the ethical standards that guides one that guides one's life. In other words, a creed is a commitment to one's beliefs and values. And I thought that was a great way to start. You know, a while back when I got into this journey uh, and started working on uh, developing the direction I was going to go and the impact I was going to make, I got in and and created this idea of being a lifer. And it really uh, wasn't so much about you guys when it started. It was about me and about the direction that I was heading and how I wanted to uh, live and how I wanted to experience my life. And that was huge because uh, really the idea is that we have a system of beliefs, an idea of who and how we want to live and how we want to uh, proceed through our life. You know, I start off in that beginning, in that creed, I am a lifer every second, every minute. And that's huge. Every second, every minute, not just sometimes, all the time. And being able to be in the minute, every minute, this is hard. This is a challenge. And at times we all fail. We all fail. None of us are uh, able to get by that, but that's the goal. That's part of the journey. That's part of what we're learning how to do. And we're trying to improve our lives every second, every minute. We're trying to become better, become something more than we have been in the past. And that's really the goal. That's really what we're after. You hear me say in the beginning, do it for the love one of the things that I thought was really uh, fun was when I moved to Jersey uh, for the first time, New York and New Jersey, I was out there with the East Coast people. And honestly, the culture shock from living uh, in my uh, town, my little town of uh, Provo, Utah, when I went to school, uh, to moving to New York and New Jersey was a huge transition. And they would all say, for the love it was it was such a funny statement to me, but it became part of my language. And then it occurred to me that the things that we're doing, we need to do it for the love. We have to do it for the love. And the reason is, is the destination, these goals that we set up, they're only the lighthouse to help you find your way. And that's it. And that's what goals are for. That's why we set these goals. It's because they are the lighthouse. 
They are the beacon of light in the night when you can't see the rocks and you don't know which way to go. You look out ahead of you and you see that lighthouse and it helps guide you into port and it helps you find your way. Those lighthouses are necessary. It's so important that we figure out what our goals are, what we want, because if we don't decide what we want, somebody else is going to decide for us. And so often we get stuck on those goals and we start looking at whether or not we're gaining those results or not and we forget every minute, every second. And so we have to remember the results are in the journey. They're in our process. They're in what we do every single day, every second, every minute. And in order to do that, as we move along, we have to understand that the first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. I love that quote by Will Smith. It's such a guiding lighthouse for us because it tells us and teaches us that you have to believe first. You have to believe in what you're doing and how you're going to accomplish it. And, you know, there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different is going to happen to you. Not just because of anything other than you are a little bit delusional about your success. But the first step is you have to believe it. And it's funny how the rest of the world will follow suit behind. And that's our call to action. That is what we're here to do. It's a call to live our lives in a beautiful state and constantly improve. If you've listened to Anthony Robbins ever, you hear him say, we want to live in a beautiful state. Beautiful state doesn't mean we're happy all the time. doesn't believe that we are trying to live delusionally about how we experience our lives, but living in a beautiful state means that we are experiencing our lives with all the spectrum of the emotion. You see, it's time for each of us to wake up. It is time to wake up. There are no more excuses about whether or not you can or cannot actually experience your own emotions. You are responsible for how you feel and what you do every single day. You are responsible for your emotions. Stop putting it on other people. Stop blaming other people for how you feel. Decide how you want to feel and go after it. And if you need education and intelligence in your emotional world right now, that's what I'm here for. Let us know. We'll help. It's time to become emotional masters. There are no more excuses. You are responsible and you are response able. You can choose to respond because nobody can make you feel anything. They cannot stick their hand in your head and in your brain and tell you you must feel this way. You have to give it meaning. You have to decide how you're going to feel and nobody else should be allowed to do that for you. And beware, there are plenty of people that would like to do that. There are plenty of organizations, there are plenty of TV shows, radio shows, and political figures that would love to tell you how you're supposed to feel. But guess what? You are not entitled to anything. You do not deserve anything except for how you would like to feel, how you want to feel each day. You get to decide that. You get to decide your emotions. You are in charge of your life. You are absolutely 100% in charge of your life. And when you have a bad day, it is your fault. I'm sorry to tell you, and if that hurts a little bit, it's okay. Take some of that pain and realize that you are in charge of your life. And if you have a great day, you also deserve the credit. And it's time to step up and take that credit. Good or bad, you decide. You see, I figure you're here because we are a brand new breed of overachievers. We love to overachieve, not just in the thing we do, but in life. We are going to be overachievers, and that's why you're here. That's why you're listening, because you're an overachiever. These are the people that I love to help take to that next level, because 
if you are an overachiever, you're finding a way to improve. You're finding a way to change the world. You are finding a way to make a difference in this life, not just for yourself, but as one of my marketing uh, mentors says, get rich, give back. And you know what? When it comes to your emotional intelligence, that's what I'm talking about. Get rich, give back. Get strong. Do your emotions. Choose to feel the way you want to feel. Choose to be a lifer. So today, that's your challenge. Follow this lifer's creed. Become a lifer. I'm excited to have you on this journey. So welcome aboard every minute. Want more magic for life? If so, then reserve your copy of my new book. Get your copy at everyminutebook.com. Inside this book, you'll find the secrets to attaining the next level of performance in anything you do. Learn the secrets behind emotional mastery that'll start you on your new journey of being a lifer. Whether you're an athlete, a business professional, or an artist, this book will change your life forever. Get your copy reserved today.